I came here to Hozu. So last week, uh, when I met Damilola, I met her on Sunday. So I approached her, I talked to her, I collected her phone number. So we started chatting. So she told me, I eventually asked her if she meet up. So she told me that she's very busy, she has exam. So I told her whenever she's free, she should let me know. So last week, Wednesday, towards Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, she told me that, yeah, she's free. She, does, she doesn't have exam on Wednesday. So I already planned this, that I already had it on mind that I'm going to use that in order. So I bought codeine and ritual. So I bought codeine and Sprite and mixed it up. So I gave it to her because I've, I, I first drank it so that it don't look like I mixed something inside. So I gave it to her and she drank. So I told her she, uh, she we, we met at uh, NMPC, Filele, facing the gas station. So I told her she should follow me so that we should go over to my place. So when I get close to my house, where I live, there was an uncompleted building. So we kneeled on the wall, we were just talking. So gradually, gradually, she's feeling weak. Gradually, gradually. So I took her to the uncompleted building. So I tied her hand, the clothes she wore. I used to tie her leg. I used cord and the rope we used to, there's a rope they used to use to dry clothes. I used to connect and there's another rope I used to tie her hand. So I dragged her to a bush close to where we live. So there I removed what my native doctor told me she removed. So he we built he sent a driver to bring uh, he brought a calabash uh, and a knife. So in the calabash he used a black and white cutting to wrap the calabash and use a red cutting to wrap the knife. So the knife I used to remove the body which is the eyes, tongue, lungs, intestine and some part of her ass. So I put it inside the calabash and I wrap it. So I gave it to the driver which he sent from Ibadan here to Lokoja. So he will build it back to Ibadan. So after that he now will build my soup here to Lokoja. Two days later I went to sell the phone. So I copied her dad's number. I copied her dad's number. So I told him that I kidnapped his daughter. So he should pay 10 million to release his daughter. He said he cannot afford that money. He only has 1 million. I said, okay, whenever he's ready to have the 1 million, he should send it. So we are negotiating, negotiating. Later on, he said he has 400,000. I met him on TikTok. I copied his number from TikTok, from his TikTok page. I messaged him on WhatsApp. His name is Oluwo, Ifa Oluwo. I went with my friend. We went there to Iba, we went there together. So I don't really know how to speak Yoruba because he, he knows how to speak Yoruba. So he directed us using my friend because he knows how to speak Yoruba. So me, I don't know how to speak Yoruba.